Hi folks, okay this is just a little kind of follow up video um, from my last straight win both teams to score Aka um, building. I just want to show you just some other games because I went in a, bit, a fair bit of depth there um, with the Finnish games. So I'm going to try and mix it up a little bit with a couple of different teams. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in again uh, to Fault Mob. I'm going to go to Tomorrow. So if I've already had a quick scan of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on four or five games that are all playing at the same time. Now the benefit of this is by picking teams that are all playing and starting off with the same kickoff times, if it's quite tight, if say your four teams in the fourfold ACA are all winning, you've got that opportunity to cash out if you're concerned that one game's gonna draw or your team's gonna get beat. You can cash out for some profit. Not that I'm a a huge fan of cash out, but if you've not had a great day, sometimes it's a good thing to kind of cash out, earn some profit, and then fight another day. So, a couple of games I'm going to look at are at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Um, so this is Norway, second uh, division, um, the number one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the Alta game. So, home side, we'll look at their form first. Not bad, a lot of goals scored. Um, the last game was a 0 0 draw, but they've had three wins, and then previous to that, they had a 4 0 defeat away from home. You look at the away side, wow, that's really impressive. So, you've got some big scores there, you've got a lot of home wins, you've got some at least two away wins as well. Um, so re looking really good on that one. Lots of goals as well scored. Look at the table. The wayside, Kongsvinger, I think they're called. Um, they're about eight points ahead. Top of the league. One less game played from Alta. So again, it's looking good for the wayside in this one. When you look at form, last two games... Kunzvinger have beaten them. That was in 2021, July, so it's fairly recent. The last one's way back in 2012, so it's not as important kind of thing, but it just, it, again, I'm always looking for patterns. So this one, to me, although this, both sides look good, I'm probably looking at who's, who's the value one. So I'll get back out. Going to um, bet three six five again. Look at the odds: thirteen to eight for Alta, twenty three to twenty. Um, on this one, I'm going to go for the wayside. Still a decent price. Come back out of there. Another game at six o'clock is Barum versus Quick Halden. Looking on that one, um, home side. Who? Oh. Not great at all. Um, big red flag. Um, you've got at least three home defeats. 1-2, one, 1-3, two, one, one, two. Um, The 1-1 one, one draw was away from home. That way side, final one, 3-1. One. So not great form at all. Vic Halden, bit better. Two defeats away from home. One win at home, one away win, and a draw. So that looks much better. When you look at the table, Vic Halden, massively different. So they're 24 points, Barham only 11 points. Again, it's indicating Vic Halden. Head to head, they played in July. Although Vic Halden were at home, they still won. So everything to me is pointing to Vic Halden. Go back in, three to four odds, I'm going to pick it. So, I've got them there. Just getting this ready. So, I'm looking for other games that are at six o'clock. 
one of the leagues I identified as Germany Regional Northeast League. So I'm looking at the first six o'clock game, which is Energy Cottbus. Okay, looking at their form, quite good. Four wins in a row, one defeat away from home, 2 1. So that's looking quite good. Away side, I'm not even going to try pronouncing that, we'll just call them VSG. Um, just final game, they got beat 3 0 at home. They've had two away wins, which is good. One home win, what was a 3 3 draw? That was at home as well. So Again, let's see where they are in the league. VSG are ahead, but they've actually played a game more and they're only one point ahead from Energy Cubus. Look at the head-to-head. -head. Straight away, it's saying four wins for Energy Cubus. Nothing very recent, but you've got 2019, 2018, 2017... Energy Cottbus have won every time. To me, it's pointing to a home win. So I'll go back in here. Energy Cottbus, even money for a home win. I think that's great value. And it bumps up the ACA odds quite good. So we've added that to ACA. Next game, Germania Halberstadt. Looking at this game, again, we've got three wins, two defeats, um, one defeat at home, one defeat away, we've had one away win, and two home wins. Last game, quite a dominant 7-1 win, so they're in good form. Come out of there, FSV, let's look at their form, not so good. Three uh, quite convincing defeats, um, two draws, the draw was one at home, one away, so I don't need to look at too much data here. You've got ninth place, Germania, they're only on 12 points, but FSV, they've only got five points from eight games. Um, so that's eight games, they've only got five points, whereas Germania have only played six games, got 12 points. This is really obvious that it's a, it's a home win. Go back in here. I'm going to pick home win. So again, my odds have went up to 11 to 1, just over 11 to 1. But, so I'm going to try and have a look at the last game to make it a five-fold. So it's Tasmania, Berlin. Um, versus VFB looking at that again quite heavy defeats and only one draw and that was at home let's look at the VFB again not fantastic um, so I'm going to have to look for an angle here because those are quite heavy defeats as well, they've only got one win and that was at home so on this occasion, what am I looking at? Am I looking at both teams to score? No, because there's a whole lot of defeats there. Um, and only one game where they've actually scored goals and they only could draw it. VFB. Again, they don't score that much either. But then they've only scored like four goals. So in this one, I'm thinking, where are they in the table? got Tasmania just ahead um, one played more one game played more but they're three points ahead again so let's look at head to head nothing so this one is a coin flip I don't think it's going to be both teams to score there's only one draw in this team there's no draws in that team it's a total coin flip On this occasion, I'm going to try and think, where's the value? I don't think the home side's going to win. I don't think they score enough goals. 
So 19 to 10 is an absolutely huge price for VFB. I don't think it's going to be a draw. So I'm going to take a massive gamble and go for VFB to get an away win. You can see how big that boosts the odds up to 33, almost 30, 41. You put that up, I only need to put in £3 and I would win £104. Again, it's a gamble, it's a risky bet, but I'm only putting £3 on it. Again, make sure you're getting your alerts. And there you have a five-fold straight win, Aka. Hopefully you take this one on board. Could win. More than likely defeat, but it's always going to be a roller coaster with my bets. With my bets. Hope you like this one as well. Take care. Speak to you soon.